Good morning. I'm Elle. I'm the Keystone Stitcher. Welcome back. Today I'm doing something special. I'm doing a flip through of the summer edition of the Just Cross Stitch magazine. So these flip throughs tend to be my longest videos and I'm always looking for new ways to do this. So if you have a preferred way that you like to view a flip through, let me know down in the comments and we'll see what we can do. The only thing I can't do is I don't have a setup to do an overhead. So let's get into this and see if I can keep this a little short. So here's our contents page and you can see everything's because there's a strawberry, little, little sampler type thing. So let's see what we've got first here. Okay, the first one is a set. So we have two pieces and this one, it's called Farmer's Market. This one up here says fruits, vegetables, and fresh eggs. And the other one just says farm fresh. So these are, the market one is 60 by 75. The signpost one is 61 by 47. And they're designed by Cute Embroidery by uh, Kate. So that's our first one. Okay, let me set this down and try doing this. Sorry for the noise. Let's try to make it a little quieter. This next one is called Planting Season. And this is a tote bag of produce. So this one is 100 by 122. It's by Mr. Stitch and Mrs. Needle. And all the instructions for how to turn it into a tote bag, as usual, are here. And our next one is a trio. And it's these strawberries. So we've got this little scissor fob, we have a, a strawberry pin cushion, and we have a lid. So the jar topper is 28 by 32, the pin cushion is 52 by 52, and the scissor fob is in tiny, tiny 24 by 24. These are by Kim Beamish. So those are that. And then we have, I'm not sure which part that is, there's even a, let's see if I can fold this so you can see. You even get to cut that out. Okay, so the next one is called Summer Happiness. And it's this little sampler. This is by Tracy Richards of Wrought Iron Stitching, and it's 97 by 97. And this is, it says, Happiness is a basket of fresh strawberries on a summer day. Sorry, I wasn't in the camera there. So that is that little sampler. Next we have home is wherever I'm with you. Little farm saying mounted on a piece of wood. And this one here is designed by Chrissy Havlet of Handmade by, with Chrissy. And it's one, it's, no, I'm sorry. It's 84 by 106. So that's that one right there. It's kind of cute. There's a little bit of back stitching on the sheep and on the word you. And other than that, it's just plain stitching. Now this one, yeah, that one uses all DMC. Then we have an article about the, the uh, Nashville needlework market, kind of a review. And then we have what they call the flossy flock. And so we have a couple people's finishes. And then there's a, a picture down here of a stitchers group from California. This next one is called Garden Welcome. That's kind of cute. So this Garden Welcome is by uh, Gentle Pursuit Designs. It's 62 by 94. And this one, they do have a, a DMC uh, alternative, but they do use, uh, it looks like all silks in that one. And then over here, there's a, an essay about modern samplers, which was quite interesting to read. It's inspiration for a modern sampler. Our next one is one I think most of you are buying this magazine for, and that is part two of the Carolyn Manning. So the, um, spring you got these three and now you're getting these three this is called the hummingbird garden and of course as i said this is by carolyn manning 
The full design is 195 by 146. Part one was 49 by 146. Why are they doing part one when this is part two? I don't know why they're giving us the measurement for part one. Okay, um, anyway, that's that. Now this is not um, charted in DMC. That's one thing I, I don't think I mentioned before or, or even too many people are talking about. This is all charted for Sullivan's and they don't give you a DMC conversion. So if you want to stitch this, you would have to look up a conversion or pick your own colors because, you know, why not? So that's your Hummingbird Garden. This next one is another part of their series this year. This is the, the quilt series. They're called the Seasonal Quilt Series. This one's Summer. It's 88 by 134 and it's by Susan Powell. And, you know, I, I think that's really cute. If I were to do that though, I would take out a lot of the oranges. I would replace them with more, I don't know, bright but pastel-y. I, I don't know what I would do, but I, I wouldn't use as many oranges. But other than that, I, I love the trees. I, I like that. So that's that one. The, but then we have some patriotic pieces. I'm going to have to be careful how I show this one. This first one is called Fireworks, and it's by Cotton Pixels. It's 47 by 47, and the chart is directly below it. And that's cute. I wish the house was a little taller to fill up more of the sky. I, I don't know. I might play with that if I were to stitch that. Okay, this next one, I don't do a lot of patriotic. Uh, but this one I love, and it's it's more because the background is more subtle. And of course, this is a full coverage, and I do full coverage. So this is by Twisted Willow Designs. It's 140 by 107. And this is land that I love. And I just, that background works for me. And it's, it's patriotic. Yes, it's red, white, and blue. But it's not, to me, in your face patriotic which makes no sense because that's a flag. But whatever reason, I'm drawn to stitch this. I love that. So you might see that one stitched up here in the future. Not that I have time to be starting all kinds of new things, but you know, I just started three things this last two weeks. So if you want to stop by Monday and check out my next video, you'll see when I started. Okay, this one is called Americana. And this is by uh, Curious Carrie Designs. And I guess she's new to the magazine because they introduced her down here and tell you a little bit about her. This one is 60 by 55. It's kind of cute. I wish the, um, I don't know, I, I think the, I would change the color of the watering can, make it stand out a little bit more. But I like the design. Again, I'm not a huge patriotic person when it comes to my stitching, but it's cute. This next one, again, I'm going to have to show you part of it because it's on the same page as the chart. This one is called Liberty Sheep, and it's by Nikki's Creations. So there's just a little tiny picture of it over here. And that's that one. This next one is called Patriotic Wave. And this one is by Elizabeth Jenkins Batty. It's 64 by 72. And this one is this band. And it's just a repeating pattern. And it tells you, you know, you can change up the colors, use it for different seasons. Um, you could probably extend it if you wanted to put it on something larger or smaller. You could adjust this because the, the repeat, it kind of ends like right in the middle of a repeat. So if you ended it in the middle of a repeat, you could adjust that to whatever size you want. So that's Patriotic Wave. And then Elizabeth Jenkins Batty, who just designed that, has an, an essay here, if I don't flip it over, called Mindful Stitching, in which she talks about how we can relax and we can use this to soothe ourselves by stitching and how stitching affects the mind in a relaxive manner. <laughs> I don't want to give too much away. I'd rather you read it. This next one, I really like this one. This is called Scenic Shop, 
and it's by cross stitch by Le Petit Croix de Lucy. I'm sorry, my my form. I think that's French, and yeah, I don't know. So this one, I like this one. This one is really good. And what is the size of this one? This one is 89 by 104. There are, I think, four or five blends in this. Uh, there's a couple different colors of backstitch. There's right in the center of the spokes, there's a French knot. And um, I, yeah, I think that's the only French knots I found on that. The flowers don't appear to have French knots. So yeah, that's that one. And I just, I really like that one. This next one is called Beach Vibes. It's by Three Tiny Owls. And it's 84 by 84. So those of you who like going to the beach or have a cottage or something near the water, that would be really cute to have in your place. The This almost looks three-dimensional. I, I really like how they just outlined it. I had to look at that because I thought, is that a pin or a button of some sort? But no, that's actually stitched in there and it's just the effect of the colors around it give it that, that effect that it pops off the fabric. So that one is, yeah, I told you it's by Three Tiny Owls. Okay, so this next one is a beach read. This is just a bookmark. And this one is 96 by 29. It's by Cozy Cabin Designs. And the surprising thing is that that has like 25 colors in it for that little tiny band. So that's pretty though, isn't it? All right, and then our next one, I can't turn the page. The page won't come apart. Okay, so this one's called Sunny and Glowing, and these are by Stitch X Love. It, they're, sunny is 39 by 39, and Glowing is 40 by 34, but they've made this into a double-sided piece. And so that, I guess, is an ornament for summer. This next one is the one that's on the cover. This is by Jesse Schofield. And it is this lovely camping image. So this is 110 by 110. I spent every summer of my life from 16, from six, age six until 17 camping every summer. I would be gone about 10 weeks out of every summer just being in the outdoors. And we had cabins but it was not uncommon to find me outside instead of in the cabin in the morning because I would sleep outside. So that one, but yeah, we used to have our fires and yeah. And of course we always camped along the lakes and I grew up along the lake. So that one's, that one might get stitched as well. Now this next few, I'm having a little bit of overload because it reminds me of, now this first one, I find the, the, the design interesting but we've gone through periods where say in the the 90s everything was geese and teddy bears and and there's a certain thing that you just kind of find through stitching if you stitch long enough you will find that there's this big push somebody likes something and then all of a sudden everybody designs it and that's what i'm finding with this and so these next few everything is about bees now i love bees i have i've always gardened and made sure that i've invited the bees in but I, there's like bees on every single cross stitch now. So this one though, I find really interesting because if you see these honeycomb pieces here, so let me read to you what it says. It says, stitch one honeycomb cell daily based on your mood. So they've got for the colors, you've got different colors for tired, anxious, angry, happy, sad, or content. So depending on your mood, you pick a different color to stitch the honeycomb. So you could almost use this like people are doing temperature charts. You could do that to, to track your moods, which I find really interesting. The bee part of it, I'm kind of done with bees I on, on stitching. But that concept, I really like. And I think for a lot of people who deal with mental health, that would be a way of 
of tracking, because I know with mental health, I know you, you, you suggested, you know, use a, a journal, jot down your, your feelings. And to me, that would be a really cool way of doing it differently. And at the same time, again, there was that article about mindful stitching. Stitching is relaxing. It would help with your moods. So the whole thing I really like. This next one is called Beehive a Sissy. And it is by Bendy Stitchy Designs. It's 48 by 54. And again, the chart is on the same page. So that's her design right there. It's really cute. Look at those blues. It is simply stitched in two colors. Uh, and she used, no, it's not. I am so sorry. It is used in, it is stitched in one color, which is a thread works. And it is back stitched in one color, which is a thread works. So I like thread works, but you could probably pick any variegated colors you liked if you don't have thread works. But I will tell you, I really like thread works. They are uh, color fast and there doesn't seem to be a huge dye lot problem with them. Okay, this next one is just B, as in a B, U. It's by Michelle Scrementi. It's 57 by 38. And there we go, there's that one. So just be you. And then we have, this was kind of cute. I thought of um, Amy, Amy Loves Toads. This is called Home Sweet Mossy Home. It's by Quaternion Creations. And this is the little sampler. See the frog? And I thought that was really cute. All right, so this one is 101 by 43. I keep moving off camera. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, this next one is called Water Lilies. It's by Elizabeth Spurlock. It measures 130 by 85. And a little koi fish, I'm assuming. And yeah, that's really pretty. Stick a frog on the lily pad. <laughs> All right, so that one, I, I'm not sure I would stitch that one, but I do like it. There's just, uh, maybe if I change the fabric, it would speak to me a little bit more. This next one is called Blossom. This is by Amanda May of Art of Design. Very colorful horse. This is 77 by 79. So I, I always tell you the dimensions because when I look at it, the way it's photographed, a lot of times they appear larger than they are. So that's Blossom. And then we have a Patriotic Nutcracker by J.B. Crosstitch. It's 47 by 35. Again, the chart is down below. So there's your Nutcracker. And then we have our Cross Stitch Basics. So how to cross stitch. And I believe that's really it. We have some finishing instructions. And then there's the back page, which gives you pictures of all of the designs. So that's the summer edition. Let me know. So my favorites would be that patriotic one with the flag as the sky and the one on the cover, which is the camping scene. Do you have a favorite? I'd love to know what it is. And that is all for today. I will see you Monday with my latest update. But for now, bye.